Hey there, today's video is Joomla versus WordPress, the story of Steve. So today I'm working at my computer like I do most days and I get a chat notification that someone has a question. I have Snap Engage installed on my training website so people can say, hey, you know, could you answer this for me? So I'm chatting with Steve and Steve is explaining that he's struggling with this Joomla template that he has purchased. He also doesn't understand articles and these categories and he's trying to figure stuff out. And uh, Steve accidentally makes a request that I call him through Snap Engage, then flips it and then actually calls me. It's a nice feature in Snap Engage. So people can basically send an email, do live chat, or engage in a phone call right from the tool. So that's why I use it. Anyway, so talk to Steve on the phone. I'm like, hey. And he said, this is the most expeditious sort of request I've ever been able to do from a website. And I say, thank you, Steve. I will tell the developers of Snap Engage that. OK, back to Joomla, though. So I'm talking with Steve, I'm listening to his problem about these templates and about, you know, these articles and the hierarchy and he's not sure and, you know, could he get training on this? And I say, Steve, let me ask you a few questions and find out what you really want. I said, do you want to have more traffic to your website? Do you want to have better SEO? Do you want to have visitors who arrive and then convert into customers? And he's like, yeah, that's what I want. I say, you just need to stop using Joomla right now. You need to use WordPress. And I said, I, I, you know, I'm being direct with you because I've seen it all. I've been using Joomla since 2005. Before it was Joomla, it was known as Mambo, right? It was a fork of Mambo. Uh, and I said, hey, with WordPress, I've been using it as a blog since 2006. And then I, I realized it could be used for websites in 2008 after I read a Dougal's article. And I said, what you want is in WordPress. And it's so much easier to use. It just has better SEO right off the bat. And you can get started right now. I said, SEO has always been a problem within Joomla. That's why there's books written about it. That's why there's all these different modules and components that people create, because it sucks in terms of SEO. Uh, and yes, it's very difficult to navigate around and figure out where things are in Joomla. How about if you could just get rid of all the complexity? Oh, you'd have WordPress. So we chatted a bit more and he thanked me for my time. And, you know, I told him about the different training that was available. And so folks, I just want to let you know, if you're there struggling with Joomla, I know I made a video. I know it has over 200,000 views about Joomla, but you know, I made that in 2008 before I realized the power of WordPress. And so if I were to make that same video over again, I would make it about WordPress instead. Um, I still do training for Joomla because there are people, companies, organizations, they are entrenched in Joomla. They have a huge site, you know, with tons of um, links and um, backtracking. I mean, it would take a lot to migrate them over to WordPress. Of course, some people and companies are doing that. So there will be some of you who will say this video is blasphemy, but I'll tell you today, I got to give Steve some real advice that he can take action on right now. And uh, yeah, it's good stuff. So let me know your thoughts. You can leave them down below. And that's the story of Joomla versus WordPress, the story of Steve.